everybody, Amelia here, and welcome back to Dragon Quest XI. So in the last episode, we finished up a quest um, for Snippelheim, and we ran afoul of an auroral serpent who was trying to eat us, uh, but we defeated him with the help of Serena. So, not the sister that I was net technically looking for, I'll be honest, uh, Veronica is my favorite. Even though I didn't remember her name uh, in the last episode, I kept calling her Victoria. Sorry, Veronica. I, I'm pretty sure it's Veronica. Oh no, now I'm not so sure again. Anyway, it's not Veronica that we have. We have Serena. Let's actually do some party talk and see if they have anything new to say. Hello. I'm ever so glad to have found you alive and well, Norrin. I've been searching for you everywhere. I thought that Father Benedictus might be able to help me find you, but the path to Arborea was blocked by that golden boulder. I've been at rather a loss about what to do ever since. But now the path is clear. Come on, Norin. Arborea is right at the top of the mountain trail. Perhaps Veronica will be waiting for us at the top. Okay. There we go. It's Veronica. No more hesitation. No more doubt. It's Veronica. You'd think after 60-some hours I'd remember the girl's name, but no. It's just been that long. Hey, Norin, is it just me, or has Serena kind of changed since we last saw her? She always used to just tag along after her sister, but now she seems a lot more driven. I guess being forced to look out for number one has brought out her inner Veronica. Veronica and Serena, the famous twins. When I was on your trail, their names would often appear in my scouts' reports. I pictured them as demons in human form, aiding the dark spawn and spreading chaos and destruction throughout Erdrea. Can you imagine? Truly, there can be no surer proof of the madness Mordegon brought in Heliodor than the fact that we would believe two innocent young ladies to be monsters. Get that, that sweet little wide-eyed face. A monster? I find it hilarious. I'll tell you, laddie, when that Aurora serpent had us all frozen on the spot, I thought it was on my way back to the void. Thank heaven Serena showed up when she did, eh? It was Erdwin who stealed the Aurora Serpent away in that fjord, all the way back in the Age of Heroes. Which means that the Luminary Legend wasn't able to feed him, but somehow we did. I must admit though, for a moment there, I didn't think we stood a chance. No, 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 no. We didn't defeat him. Serena did. Like, maybe we just weakened him enough that Serena could finish him off. But what has Serena been doing that she was able to do that? I'm very uh. curious. Honey, did you see that spell Serena used to defeat the dragon? So ferocious! Where did she learn how to do that? Well, I was busy getting my parade together. She must have been putting in some hard work of her own. And of course, we won't find out because we don't have um, the new DLC updates that they added in. Um, okay, let's actually take a look. Guys, I don't character builder. There we go. How you looking, Serena? Okay, so unlike some of the others, she did not lose her progress. She has 26 points. What were we really using her in? Were we using her... Does she still have... Like, her stuff? Nothing equipped. Were we using her with spears or... Holes. Wands. Spears. Wands. Huh. Having a hard time remembering. She could do. Harpistry. For string strummers. It looks like I had her just in all of them, but it looks more like I was leaning into spears and harpistry. Let's go into this, cattle prod, thunder thrust, and then attack power when wielding plus 15, that's 13 points, 18 points, not enough. Um, him of Light forms a barrier that protects all party members from light-based attacks, from earth-based attacks, from lightning-based attacks, which are all useful in their own right. 
20, 14 and 12 is 26. So I could get both of those and then screw Earth. Um, and then minor MP recovery. I definitely wasn't doing wands, it looks like. Yeah. So let's go with attack power. This is so scintillating, guys, I know. I'm with you there. Lightning based, earth based, I light based. Like Arborea, would that be earth based mostly coming up? That's what we'll say. Metal Ballad. That can be performed with Norrin's help. Useful when Serena is pepped up. That's cool. Is that a first? I don't think we've ever had that happen before. Now, Eric. I was really into knives and the boomerangs. I had boomerangs, starburst throw, rains down sparkling stars, attack power, and then this was knives, dodge chance. Dual wielding is what I wanted next. Yes. I love the ability to have everybody dual wield if I wanted it. So I'm not there yet. Okay. So we'll just wait. And I think we'll wait for everybody. Yeah. And let's go ahead and get you set up. This is hers that just got equipped. 227. But maybe I might use her. But I haven't gone into wands at all with her. 181. 200. 231. 251. That's magical mending, not attack. That's a wand. Platinum lamps, 236, 231, 231, and this is 227, 181, 200, 278, oh, that's a wand. Easier to appropriate enemies, MP. Like, maybe I might eventually go into wands for her, but for now, 2 36, I think is the best. 6% parry, 152 charm, 154 charm for 236. 231, 6%, 152. 236, 6%. Oh, sounds like that's a good one to go with. She has to wield it with both, okay. Kinda wish there was a way to like, sort, sort by type. Sort by name, sort by type. Bonnie Band, go to the Dottie set. Just what she had on before, wasn't it? But does that make it better? No. Papillon Mass, 88 Defense, Magical Might, 27 Magical Mending. Mm, magical Mending. It's just better. 242 Magical Mending, Charm 192, Defense 78. 242, 192. Not as good. Not as good. 249. Okay. costume. Okay. Princess's robe. Queen's robe. Slime earrings. Be a good one. And then let's see. Storm. 
intuitive. Uh, deafness, attack. Might be good. I have so much stuff, it's almost impossible to know anymore. What is and isn't good. Let's just go with that for now. I'll probably... Yeah, see. We'll put the shield on him. Sage your staff. <clears throat> That's a great sword. I haven't used it at all. Vanishing Blade. It's a great sword. There we go. Razor Wing. That's a great sword still. What? what Increase my charm. Dragon Spain. Mm. Okay. One eighty. I mean, it can't hurt to see what that will do. All right. I think that's good. We only spent 12 minutes on that. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. And they're usually more than happy to share their predictions. That does not look familiar. Wow. Hello. Scorched Earth? I don't think that was a thing. The snare fell on... Map menu, sparkly spots. Oh, that's the sparkly spots. Think incense. Well, that is, it's not good because I don't remember that being a thing. It's been a while and my memory's not the greatest. But surely it's not that bad. Ooh, okay. Of them. Well, let's find out. I didn't manage to hit it. Oops. He's big. Elysium bird. Okay. Liege lizard. Make it a dragon. Maybe we should get rid of the bird. I hate, I hate that they're allowed to attack twice. That foils. Bosses, okay. You expect bosses to have like special abilities. It makes sense in a stupid kind of way. But randoms? Oh no. No. Alright, I'm using bird. Ow. That was rather painful. I think we should do something to block that. Not sure what. At least he's gone. Bird's gone. Uh, let's 
try the good old hard snack. No, that is more than the cotton prod. So maybe it's not, like... I don't know. Feel yourself. about your, uh... Oh, that's good. I like that. Maybe I should have kept the Falcon. Falcon away. I don't know. It was starting to feel like it wasn't as good anymore. I haven't found anything that was better yet. <laughs> Go ahead and heal him up a little bit. Just to lose it again. Yep. You're so sure, Hendrick. Seriously, light and floats. I didn't see that all. What did it say? Ooh. That's not good. Yeah, not affected shit. Hmm. Maybe spells are what I mean. <gasps> Hendrick, you lost your sure footedness. Blazing World Fire. 
blazing flames. Yeah. Yeah, Didn't do that much. Maybe it's the probably haven't got much left to them anymore. That's good. Down to one. He's just gonna try his game just doesn't it? Get Serena back in. I can, can I? Yay. Maybe I'll put, um, Serena back in. Um, why not? And let's test her. Let's test Eric out. Because it's been a while. So, we'll see how that goes. Alright, now how do I... Right, jump. Oop, that didn't work. And up. And up. Up we go. Whee! Oh, right, okay. Oh, I forgot these things move. Yep, there it goes! Remember the first time that came up? Oh, that was so creepy. When it came alive. Oh, yep, I didn't miss it that time. Hey, well. Oh, Eric's pet. It makes enemies more vulnerable to fire and earth attacks. Metal. He's not metal, he's stone. Sleeper hit. Oh my god, he actually stole something and it worked. Ah! Let's see, what have you got? Kaswoosh sucks through the ferociously destructive whirlwind. Okay. Abilities, cattle prod, undead. How he waits so patiently for me to decide what I'm gonna do. Cool. That is pretty good.
That's a really heavy foot. decision about what I want to do with their <laughs> with them if I want them to be in knives or boomerangs. I think I wanted Eric in boomerangs. This is awful. It was so beautiful here before. Our poor little angels. Veronica, Serena, please come back. We'll do anything. So Veronica's not here. Fidelis, Alma, you must not lose hope. Veronica and Serena are the heirs to the power of that most holy of sages. As long as they are together, there is nothing that can... Oh. Serena? Is it really you? Mother? Father? You're alive! Oh, Serena, my little angel. I never thought I'd see you again. Serena, my child, have you come back to us alone? What a Veronica? What indeed? Okay, so she's not in Arboreal. Where the hell is she? she she's not here. But, but I thought she must have made her way home already. <sighs> she's certainly somewhere nearby. I can sense it. Somewhere north of here. Just suddenly you can sense this? As north. You can really tell where she is. Hmm. Yes. I call foul it's too. It's her. I know it is. We have to go and find her. Ooh. When the world tree fell, I feared that we would never see you or your friends again. But now you have been returned to us. All of you save one. Pray, go with Serena to the grove north of the village and seek out her twin. But if she was north of the village this entire time in just a row, wouldn't she have already come back? I've been beside myself with worry that some fiendish monster might have hurt my little angels. How wonderful it is to see my dear Serena again. I want to pray that Veronica, too, is safe. Please, my darling, come home. Oh, Serena, it is such a relief to see my darling daughter safe and well. But where is Veronica? Our daughters have been inseparable ever, inseparable ever since the day they were born. To see one without the other is unnerving. I pray that she is unharmed. Okay. Norin, you're alive! I knew the Lord of Shadows could never leave the luminary low. Hurrah! Huzzah! Oh, you're so cute. Can I pet you? I cannot pet you. This is saddening. The priest who stood in this place when you last visited did not survive the fall. Though I have long since retired from the holy life, I am duty bound to continue his good work. How may our church assist you, faithful disciple? Oh, that's so sad. Okay. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is we're coming up on 30 minutes. I think I'm gonna just um look around here again. Um And grab some equipment, items, whatnot, whatever I can get. And then, uh, we'll end this episode. Dragon's Bane. I already own two. Gladius. Is that a great sword? 
That's a knife. Oh. <laughs> Never mind then. I have 99,000 G. And that's just what I have here. It's not what I have in the thing. Badge of honor awarded to warriors who have exhibited exceptional skill and courage. Star cross. Glow stick. Staff of anti magic. Already own it. Hieroglyph staff. However, one popular with senior members of the sorcery community. Oh, Paladin's lands I already own. Ethereal shield I already own. Minister's. Miter? Meter? Mitwe? Better defense for Rab. Queen's robe. I already have a Queen's robe. I have to say I don't. Flowing dress. Fortifies the water. The wearer with water warding against fire and ice. That might be useful. Oh. It's certainly better defense. We'll go ahead and buy one. Uh, we'll put a new equipment back. Mirror earrings. It lessens light damage. Special medicine. Which is at least 90 special antidote. It restores at least 60. Lunaria. Panacea. Chimera wing. I don't think I've ever used any of this. Okay. Let's see. I've been really heavily into knives trying to get to dual wield. So maybe for right now. It would be a good idea to just equip Eric. Yes. Um, and put that on him for right now. And then I think I'll go ahead and get this Hieroglass staff. It's not a whole lot different, but it's a little something. Um, and I think that's enough damage to my wallet. <laughs> Do you have anything to say? Now that our tea bushes have withered away, we can but turn to the desiccated remnants of the harvests of yesteryear. Unfortunately, the flavor does not compare. Though I may gag at every sip, it has long been my daily routine to partake of a warming cup of tea in this establishment. The Lord of Shadows shall not rob me of this. You go, girl. Let's see, who's here? The holy land of Arborea has been settled beyond repair by Mordigan's wickedness. There's not we can do but await our annihilation. Well, you didn't, uh... Keep up your spirits. I don't blame you. Like, I've already done all of these, so... Hmm... Would there be anything left to even get? I don't think so. It's the only problem with coming back. It's like you've already, already gotten everything. The birds, the insects, even the trees are crying. When all is still, I hear their tearful voices. Though they have no words to express their sadness, still they grieve for their fallen friends. Well, you have just made me super duper sad. Thank you. Oh. Luminary, you are the one hope remaining to the people of Erdrea. Though our world is shrouded in sorrow, the fact that your light was not extinguished is the one remaining glimmer in the darkness. It's about pressure. No biggie. It's fine. Um... Is that where we're supposed to go, is the Grove of Repose? There's no quests here. I used to live with my sister, but she is no longer with us. When the World Tree fell, she shielded me from its awful impact, and in doing so was mortally wounded. It was all my fault. If only I had not been playing outside, she might still be alive today. Oh, that's a heavy burden to carry, kid. This poor child lost his family to the terrible impact of Idrisil's fall. Only he was spared. It's been many a year since I last cared for a little one. 
My own son has long since flown the coop, but I swear that I will do all I can to be a good mother to him. the bank and the inn. I'll probably want to stop off there. Let's go ahead and just like talk to everybody. This is to the mountaintop. This path leads to the top of the mountain. It is a sacred place where none may set foot without the Holy Father's permission. Forgive me, but I must ask that you turn back. Called it. Do I know my RPGs or do I know my RPGs? The world tree's fall has caused you much anguish. You do not need to tell me, Luminaire. I can read it in your face, so you say as you don't turn to look at him. When one undergoes such great hardship, that pain, that sadness, it catches itself, it etches itself upon one's features. Though it is difficult to see, it is there. There's a certain is. I don't know, there's a certain hardness there, but at the same time, like, that's been there since the beginning, so... I think that's just his resting bitch face. Yeah. These have all been picked clean. At this point, I think it's just to talk to everybody. If I even cared to talk to everybody. So many leaves fell from Idris's branches on that dark day. And those of us who remain are buffeted by the winds of sadness and despair. More may yet fall, some to inconsolable grief, others to disease and destitution. Only by your strength, Luminary, can the world tree blossom once more. Again, no pressure. I see that young Serena has come back to us. She and her sister are the pride of our village, for together they are the reincarnation of the Holy Sage. Though each is her own person, they may remain forever one. If Serena has returned, I am certain that Veronica cannot, cannot be far behind. Y'all can't talk today. The great figure carved into the mountain above us represents Serenica, the holy sage who fought the Dark One alongside the Luminary of Legend. In these benighted times, she is a great source of solace to us, as are you, Luminary. Oh yeah, there's a person there. forgot that was there. Ugh, I am so hungry that I can barely move. My stomach feels as though it is completely shriveled up. Ah, Luminary, forgive me. My complaints are not intended for your ears. Please do not tell anyone of my selfish mutterings. I know that times are hard for all. I mean that you can't complain every once in a while. I mean, it kind of does suck for everybody. The couple on the terrace lost their newborn child when the world tree fell. Every day they stand there and stare out over the world below. There are no words that can express their grief. Not blame yourself, my love. There's nothing more we could have done. Our son was just a few days old when the world tree fell. He was perfectly well before, but afterwards he grew weaker and weaker. If I had been a better mother, perhaps I could have saved him. Now I can do nothing but await the day when this world finally ends and I am reunited with my darling baby boy. Don't make me cry. Luminary, how good to see my humble hostelry once again. Well then, shall we proceed to business? Um, let's go ahead and stay overnight. And we're gonna end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this one's kind of depressing. Because, just like everywhere else, they seem to be very hard hit. Um, but we're gonna see if we can find Veronica. And hope, hope for the best. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.